The hospice means so much to me. It's a fabulous place for patients to come and be looked after. It's a real treasure for Lanarkshire to have a hospice like this. Um, and I think it's a place that we couldn't do without in Lanarkshire. It's, it's so valuable to the community to have a hospice where they know that their loved ones can be really looked after and cared for while on their journey. Um, well, my connection to the hospice started about 20 years ago. Um, I now work at the hospice three days a week as the director of the Capital Appeal. And my challenge is to raise £9 million to completely modernise the hospice and make it fit for the future. The St Andrews Hospice was established 30 years ago this year by the Religious Sisters of Charity. Although some work's been done in the building over the years, it's really fallen behind current building regulations and also behind what we'd want to provide for the people of Lanarkshire. The Board of Trustees recognised that we need to improve our facilities to match the excellent standard of care that we provide. So three years ago they made the decision to start the process that would redesign the hospice and bring it up to the current building standards and hopefully exceed the expectations of the patients and the visitors of our service. My name's Alan Cox. I, I was involved just peripherally with the hospice for a number of years but uh, it came into light in 2014 when uh, my wife who had had a brain tumour uh, spent three months in here, the uh, last three months of her life in here. We, she spent a month in hospital before she came here and the, the difference between being in a hospital environment to here where everything exudes warmth, everything uh, is care, everything is just compassion and love and coming from the one to the other um, just let you see just how deep and how important it was that, that the care that, that went on in here. I've worked uh, throughout Lanarkshire and there is no part of Lanarkshire that doesn't know of the hospice and there really is no part that's not been touched. The, the, the fundraising goes on throughout the, the area and I think that's because everybody has had some connection, sometimes distant, sometimes closer, with what goes on in here. Everybody knows of it, everybody knows the work that's got done, and everybody knows of the importance of that. Hospice has got a, a very bad press over the years because a lot of people think hospice is where people come to die. A hospice is where you come to live. Um, and we would, our focus is on life, not on death. Um, and we would always encourage to, people to to live out whatever time they have left um, with their families um, in, in the best way that they can. You know, St Andrew's Hospice is it's a happy place, believe it or not, but it's a happy place where sad things can happen and, and sometimes they do. The way the hospice is now, people love it, it's great, um, but we just need it upgraded. We have, together with a full design team, developed a set of plans that will cost £9 million to implement and we'll also make enormous improvements to the patients and the visitors we use the building. We'll increase our single rooms from 8 up to 21. All of the rooms will have ensuite facilities. They'll also have access through French doors out to the courtyard or the gardens on the periphery of the hospice. These doors will be wide enough to allow beds to be taken out if patients wish this. We also have three three-bedded rooms for patients who prefer the company of other patients. These rooms will have far more space than their current multiple occupancy rooms. They'll also have ensuite facilities and access through French doors out to the courtyard again. All other areas within the main part of the hospice will also be upgraded. They'll have a more modern and spacious feel to them, hopefully create a more relaxing environment. Um, the capsule appeal is going really well. We're, um, we're kind of 18 months into the journey and it's a five year project and we've raised half the money so far. However, they say the first half's the easy half. So I think it's, it's you know, now we're about to go into a public phase and, you know, getting that next four and a half million that's probably going to be the most challenging. Um, and we really need as much support and help from anybody out there that can really do something to help us. If they can get on our bus and come and you know, on that journey with us to raise that nine million pounds, that would be wonderful. There's many ways people can get involved. We have a fact sheet and, you know, fundraising pack that we can send out to you. Um, so please just give us a call. Um, we're based at the hospice in Airdrie and we, if you just ask for the Capital Appeal team, then that would be great. I think people can help by, by donating generously. 
you know, I know the capital appeal is, is going well. Um, the, the, the group are working extremely hard in order to raise the, the millions that we need to, to do the upgrade. Um, and I would just encourage people, you know, whether you've, you've experienced the, the use of our service or whether you haven't, um, you know, we all know someone who's had a life-limiting illness in their life and we know what good palliative care can mean for patients and for their families. You know, it's vital, so I would encourage everyone to, to dig deep and, and to give as much as, or as little as you can, because every penny counts, every penny. I would just encourage everyone in Lanarkshire, it's your hospice, you can make it what it should be for the next 30 years, and please do what you can. I would just like to thank everybody. I think um, we've had great support from the people of Lanarkshire. Anyone that comes to the hospice, regardless of creed or colour, is treated in exactly the same way. We look after people from all walks of life, all denominations, and the common thing that they've got is that they need help and they need support. Um, and we need a brand new hospice to continue this.